Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the fridge. On the menu tonight, World of Tanks. Tonight's replay comes from a clan mate and friend, AVP, and he is driving the Object 260. The Object 260 is a tier 10 Russian Heavy and the last of the tanks you get from completing the personal missions. So let's lift the side skirt and have a look at her numbers. Starting with the firepower, we find the BL-13-1 cannon, which is a 122mm gun, rather than the 130 you might be expecting. As such, she does have a slightly lower alpha strike when compared to the IS-7 or 5A, but 440 average alpha is still decent. And with 260mm of penetration, you can make each shot count. A reload time of around 11 seconds is a bit slower than the E5, but you do get close to 2400 dpm, which puts it ahead of the IS-7 and the AMX M454. It does put it behind the E5 and the 5A. The turret traverse speed is on the slower side at 27.12 degrees per second. It is still quicker than the IS-7, but not by much. The other gun stats are decent, with an aim time of 2.4, which is the same as the 5A, and a dispersion of 0.35, which is basically the same as the E5. Depression, however, is a problem, with only 5 degrees down and 15 up. Survivability is on the low side, being 300 hit points down on the I-7, but retains the same 150mm of frontal hull armour and pike nose layout. Side armour is the same 150mm, and retains that classic Russian boat hull design. Rear armour is lower at 70mm, which is 30 down on the IS-7. Turret armour layout is not the typical upside down wok like the IS-7. It has a longer design, although it is still rounded. Armour on the front is a very solid 350mm, and a not insignificant 240mm on the sides. Even the rear turret armour is decent at 100mm. Mobility is good, with 1,200 horsepower pushing around 61 tonne of tank. The power to weight ratio is better than some mediums at close on 20 horsepower per tonne. Top speed is a respectable 60 km an hour, with 15 in reverse. Concealment is not something this tank does well, but for a heavy, it's not terrible. View range is solid at 400m. There you have it, the final reward tank, the Object 260. This baby can be yours for free. All you need to do is be totally awesome and finish all the personal missions. So, how should one play this tank? Basically, as an IS-7, you have good speed, a solid turret and a decent gun. Get yourself into a good position early and put that turret and gun to work. Make the enemy come to your hull down position and don't expose that lower plate. Once the enemy lines have been breached, you can use your speed to flank around and fight the enemy from the rear. Good speed and reasonable manoeuvrability means you don't need to fear getting caught in the open by a medium. Although you do need to watch the weather forecast because raining HE shells are going to make a mess of your 20mm deck armour. The armour viewer I used showed the commander's hatch as a potential weak point, but not the ventilator. As AVP has shown us, this can be a very potent tank in the right hands. And if you're skilled enough to unlock this, you're skilled enough to make her sing for you. Thanks for stopping by the fridge. As usual, please check the links in the video description to my Twitch, Patreon and Discord. Please like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for stopping by the fridge. I'll see you again soon.